54 day rosary novena in honor of our lady of pompeii second part thanksgiving for 27 days O god come to my assistance O lord make haste to help me glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen one here i am at your feet o immaculate mother of jesus who delights in being invoked as queen of the rosary in the valley of pompeii rejoicing in my heart my soul overwhelmed by the most ardent gratitude i return to you my generous benefactress my sweet lady the queen of my heart to you who have truly shown yourself as my mother the mother who so dearly loves me in my grieving you heard me in my afflictions you comforted me in my anguish you gave me peace Sorrows and pains of death were besieging my heart, and you, O Mother, from your throne of Pompeii, with your compassionate gaze, relieved me. Who has ever turned to you with confidence and has not been heard? If the whole world only knew how good you are, how compassionate with those who suffer, all creatures would turn to you. Be blessed forever, O Virgin Sovereign of Pompeii, by me and by everyone, by men and by the angels, from heaven and from the earth. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us a blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. 2. Thanks I give to God, and thanks to you, O dear Mother, for the new favors that through your compassion and mercy have been granted to me. What would have become of me had you ignored my groans and my tears? May the angels of paradise and the choirs of apostles, martyrs, virgins, and confessors give thanks to you on my behalf. May the souls of so many sinners return to you, who now enjoy in heaven the vision of your radiant beauty, thank you on my behalf. I wish all creatures to join me in loving you, and the whole world to repeat the echo of my thanks. What will I render back to you, O Queen, rich in mercy and magnificence? The rest of my life I dedicate to you, and to propagate your rosary everywhere, O Virgin of the Rosary of Pompeii, through whose invocation the grace of the Lord has visited me. I will promote the devotion of your rosary. I will tell everyone about the mercy you have obtained for me. I will always proclaim how good you have been towards me, so that sinners like me may also turn to you with confidence. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us a blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. 3. By what name shall I call you, O pure dove of peace? Under what titles shall I invoke you, whom the holy doctors call Queen of Creation, Gate of Life, Temple of God, Palace of Light, Glory of the Heavens, Saint among the saints, miracle of miracles, paradise of the Almighty. You are the treasure of graces, the omnipotent pleader. Indeed, through you the very mercy of God descending upon the distressed. Yet I know how sweet it is to your heart to be invoked as Queen of the Rosary in the Valley of Pompeii. And invoking you in that way, I feel the sweetness of your mystical name, a rose of paradise, transplanted in this valley of tears to soften the worries of us, the banished children of Eve. Red rose of charity, more fragrant than all perfumes of Lebanon, who in your valley, by the fragrance of your heavenly gentleness, draws the hearts of sinners to the heart of God. You are the rose of everlasting freshness, who, nourished by the streams of heavenly waters, planted your roots in the soil scorched by rain of fire. Rose of unblemished beauty, who in the land of desolation planted the garden of the Lord's delights. May God be exalted, God who made your name so wondrous. Bless, O nations, the name of the Virgin of Pompeii, for through her all the earth is full of God's mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, then eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruits of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. 4. Amidst the storms overwhelming me, I raised my eyes to you, new star of hope, who appeared in our times over the valley of ruins. From the depths of my bitterness I cried aloud to you, O Queen of the Rosary of Pompeii, and I experienced the power of this title so dear to you. Hail, I will always cry. Hail, O Mother of Mercy, immense sea of grace, ocean of kindness and compassion. Who will worthily sing the glories of your rosary, the victories of your crown? To the world that is freeing itself from the arms of Jesus to throw itself into those of Satan, you obtain salvation from your son in that valley where Satan devoured souls. You walked, triumphant, over the ruins of the pagan temples, and upon the decay of idolatry you placed the footstool of your dominion. You transformed the place of death into a valley of resurrection and life. Upon this land, once dominated by your enemy, you established the citadel of refuge, where you welcome all peoples to save them. Behold, your children, scattered throughout the world, raise their throne to you as a witness to your miracles, as a trophy of your mercies. From that throne you called me also among the children of your predilection. Upon me, a sinner, your merciful gaze rested. Blessed be your works eternally, my lady, and blessed be all the miracles worked through you by your Son in this valley of desolation and extermination. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn, then, most gracious Advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit to thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. 5. May every tongue resound with your glory, O Lady, and the evening pass on to the following day the harmony of our blessings. May every generation proclaim you blessed, and blessed are you. Repeat all the lands of the earth and the heavenly choirs. I, too, will call you three times blessed with the angels, the archangels, and the principalities, three times blessed with the angelic powers, the virtues of the heavens, and the celestial dominations. Most blessed I will proclaim you with the thrones, the cherubims, and the seraphims. O oh, my sovereign rescuer, never stop turning your merciful gaze on this family, on this nation, on the entire church. Especially do not deny me the greatest of the graces, that my weakness will never cause me to be separated from you and your son. In this faith and love burning in my soul at this very moment, let me persevere until my last breath. And to all of us who contribute to the honor of your shrine in Pompeii and to the growth of its charitable works, grant that we be included in the number of the elect. O Holy Rosie of my mother, I press you tight to my heart and kiss you with veneration. Here, kiss your rosary beads. You are the means to obtain every virtue, the treasure of merits for paradise, the pledge of eternal life, the strong chain binding the enemy the source of peace for those who honor you in life, the promise of victory for those who will kiss you at the moment of death. In that last hour, I await you, O Mother. Your rosary will open for me the gates of heaven. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn the most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit to thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. O God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to turn to you with confidence and call you our Father in heaven. O gracious Lord, ever merciful and forgiving, through the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, hear us who rejoice in being called children of the Holy Rosary. Accept our humble thanks for the gifts received 
and render the throne you raised to her in the shrine of Pompeii every day more glorious and everlasting. Through the merits of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, really present in the most holy sacrament of the altar, since I cannot now receive you under the sacramental veil, I beseech you with a heart full of love and longing to come spiritually into my soul through the immaculate heart of your most holy mother and abide with me forever. You and me and I in you in time and in eternity. Amen. Through Jesus, through Mary. Say 15 decades of the rosary.